Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Uh, well, today I'm uh, here with another new video which is uh, um, about report writing in O levels English. But before we move on to the lecture, I would request that if you are new on my channel, please subscribe it and uh, please like my uh, this video. In fact, you're going to watch it and then you're going to like it. And please press the bell icon so that you can be informed about uh, any new video. Okay, so let's begin uh, this video and watch this video till the end because in this video, not only I'm going to discuss um, a real question from some previous paper, but I'm also going to talk about the um, mark scheme. So we'll analyze the mark scheme. We'll see that how the marks are divided and I'll be giving you a hint. I'm planning uh, to write uh, the report in a correct way. So let's begin. Uh, uh, dear students, this is the uh, paper sample in front of you, which you can see. And you can see that uh, English language paper one, uh, this paper which I'm going to discuss with you today is uh, May, June 2018's paper. Uh, one hour and 30 minutes is the time given to you for Paper one, which is the writing paper. Okay, so let's move on. Let's look at the question. Now, here we come uh, with our section one, directed writing. Uh, here, the word limit is between 200 and 300 words. These two instructions you can see in bold. You will be awarded up to 15 marks for following the task instructions. And what are task instructions? Task instructions are is this detail given and then you will be awarded up to 15 marks for the language you, you use so total there are 30 marks for this part of the paper and uh, these for 15 these marks will be divided 15 marks for the task fulfillment and 15 marks how well you use your language so let's um, uh, discuss the task uh, most of the students, they ignore this task and they just move on. They just look at the, the rubrics or the bullet points given. In fact, this is not a right practice. Um, the most important thing uh, in a question is to read this task because this sets the background of the question. So ignoring it means that we are putting ourselves in a dangerous situation because we might miss some important detail which is being discussed in this task. So let's see. Many new students join your school every day. So it's about new students joining your school. I'm going to underline the key points so that they remain in, in, uh, in my mind. And I want my students to do this so that they don't skip any minor detail when they are writing a directed task. Your principal wants to make starting the school. This is about starting the school as easy as possible for these new students. Okay, so uh, this is actually uh, arrival of new students and making things easier for them. And she asks you to write a report. You have been asked to write a report for her, her about how to do this. Write your report. It's already in bold. You must include the following. So let's recall what is the task about. The task is that there are many new students. In fact, they face some difficulty. And as a senior student, you are asked to talk about these difficulties and um, guidelines. So let's see. The first rubrics ask about some of the difficulties that you and other students had when you joined the school. This is about you. That what were the difficulties which you faced when you joined the school and your fellows joined the school. So that, uh, that can be taken as some example. Then in the second rubric, some suggestions about what the school can do to help new students. Well, um, students, you uh, are aware that this type of reports are a routine part of Cambridge where uh, some senior students are asked for suggestions. So this has a particular way uh, to write. This I will discuss when we are discussing the planning of it. How the students and the school will benefit. The last part is that uh, when these suggestions are taken, what will be the effect on the students coming, the newcomers, and what will be the effect on the, the student. So if you just 
uh, carefully look at these three rubrics the first rubrics is based on past where you are asked to recount your uh, your experience when you arrived in the school and when uh, the difficulties faced by you so you are going to uh, talk about those difficulties this is going to be in past now the second rubrics ask some suggestions okay and uh, definitely here you will be using the suggestive words then um, uh, when these suggestions are take, taken what do you think that what are going to be the benefits for the students so you are going to cover all three points above in detail you should make your report polite and informative start your report to the principal remember to give uh, your name and date at the end so this is how a question should be read and one more important thing which is really compulsory that 15 marks are there for the task fulfillment which we have underlined and the 15 marks are there for the language which we are going to use so if you just uh, look at this question i have underlined all the key uh, words in this report question this is how you should do it so that you don't ignore it uh, writing a directed task is not something easy easy it it needs a lot of uh, um, careful planning done so without planning without looking at the question carefully you cannot come up with a good directed writing task so two things now are there in our mind that um, we have half marks for our language and we have half marks for our task fulfillment okay so we have to secure both of these marks we have to go for higher marks in the task construction in the fulfillment and we have to look at our language that we get the maximum marks so don't worry i'll be discussing all those parameters which will help you to secure um, maximum marks in both categories and i'll be discussing how these marks are awarded other thing is that that you have underlined all the key points uh, in the question and uh, you have uh, thoroughly understood the question so we know that all these three rubrics they have to be dealt in different paragraph and roughly we know that each rubric um contains 10, 10 marks five marks if we say for the task fulfillment how well we deal with the given rubric and uh, how is the language used in that particular rubric so uh, we can say that each rubric roughly contains it's not something like final but we can say that we have to be justified to each rubric it's not that we write a lot for the first bullet point and we ignore second completely and the last one is hastily done this is what most the students do so this should not happen each rubric should be equally attempted and equal weight weight should be given to each rubric so let's move on to the next slide and see that creative writing is not something easy it is actually where you are going to show that your words have power so you have to use your words your language carefully to build up a, a successful and well directed writing now let's talk about the format what is going to be the format of directed writing this is a well asked question by many students that how should we write it and how should we begin it um you've noticed that in the previous question um the examiner has given us the hint to start the report with to the principal so this is how we are going to begin our report um look at this the first thing which we are going to uh, write is actually let me choose a color we are going to write to the to whatever is we are writing about here we are going to write our report to the principal so we will be saying to the principal then we are going to write the subject the here in this case as we are going to talk about um, the improvement uh, in the facilities for the newcomer can be a short subject subject should be short to the point then introduction uh, students you will not uh, give introductions heading you will simply tell that uh, who you are like you can begin in this way that being a senior um student uh, of the school or being a part of the student council i am really thankful that i have been chosen to um, uh, to suggest um, our school management for this task so some sort of introduction will be given that can be given in the form of a separate paragraph okay after this comes our first content point first bullet in the question 
so what is our first bullet in the question it is about the problems uh, as a senior student we and our fellows faced so this is the first content point in a different paragraph then comes the next paragraph the next paragraph is the um, suggestions to those uh, problems okay with the these you are going to do in a very careful way so this is the second bullet point in question which we are going to discuss in a separate paragraph then we will be uh, dealing with the third uh, content point and the third content point here in case of our question is what will be the benefit when all these suggestions are taken to the school and to the students so third content point will be discussed this is a journal format of all directed writings okay then at the end you are going to write some summing up lines okay where you are going to um, in a formal way conclude and uh, your report that i'll be really thankful if my suggestions are taken and um, uh, uh, some quick action is taken in this regard so this is how you are going to formally write two to three lines to end your um, your report remember that a sudden end is a very bad impression on the examiner this shows that you don't have uh, the actual way and format of writing something so uh, uh, the proper way to begin with is really important this is the beginning thing i have just talked about and a proper way to end is there because all other things will be dealt in three paragraph by all but if you are in a proper way with a good introduction and a good conclusion this will show that you know the format exactly then at the end you're going to write your name your full name and your signature okay signature is not compulsory so that that can be done so this is the exact format of writing a report so you can keep this format in your mind and you can uh, write a good report next time you are uh, asked to okay so um the most important thing after learning the format is to look at the language used because we know that we'll be awarded 15 marks for this and look at the task fulfillment that how well we come up with the given task and how well we uh, uh, give uh, all the details needed and uh, what type of language is used so let's move on and see the task fulfillment marks task fulfillment marks are 15 as i have just told you that there are 15 marks for task fulfillment as you can see it's here here and uh, these marks are given in the form of bands okay the highest band is band 5 so if you are falling in band 5 then you are going to get 13 to 15 marks the next band is band 4 where 10 to 12 marks will be awarded definitely this is the criteria for the for scoring these marks few of uh, few of these i will read definitely reading this all will not be possible that you can also do but i just want to show you that this is the mark scheme of cambridge based on which the marks are given then band 3 is there where the candidate can get 7 to 9 marks it's all fixed there is certain criteria you can look at these things and you can rate yourself that uh, which band currently you are falling in and you can see that the highest band and its requirements and according to it you can improve yourself then band 2 is the band where students score 4 to 6 uh, 6 marks then band 1 is the one where student has 1 2 3 3 marks and then the band 0 the last one where students get nothing no marks are given so let's see that uh, what is the uh, what is the criteria of falling into the highest band so we'll discuss it uh, it it has a very good understanding of the purpose that the way we have underlined all the uh, all the uh, bullet points so we are going to accordingly um, write the thing so this will show that we have understood everything of the the question so we show a very good understanding of the purpose clear awareness of the specified situation like our uh, directed writing is tailored in a way that exactly matches the asked question then text type our language our uh, our language our tone is exactly matching the the requirement like 
if we are writing a report to the principal it has to be in a quite formal way all required points developed in detail that is all three content points are talked uh, uh, equally full uh, amplified and well organized i mean uh, all required information is given on a certain content point given information well used so whatever information is given by the examiner the way we have underlined each point is discussed in the writing and um, the personal opinion and inspiration is there tone and register entirely appropriate this is really important so we have to see that to whom we are writing and accordingly our language is matched so definitely i will not read the whole uh, mark scheme for, uh, that you can read it's in front of you can pause the video and read it yourself but you have seen that this is the this is the highest uh, criteria this is the highest criteria for scoring the mark marks and you can just read and see that at present where you are rating yourself and you can improve accordingly so these are the 15 marks division in five bands and here is the 15 marks division for language fulfillment language fulfillment has more bands it, the highest band here is 8 and then i've cut and uh, i've reduced it i just wanted that in comparison they are shown to you so uh, it has a uh, band 8 and the last band is band 0 the highest scoring marks are 14 to 15 definitely so i'll just read that what is the criteria for getting the highest marks uh, that is the highest band so highly accurate writing apart from very occasional slips so highly accurate language there are there are no mistakes in your language and uh, sentences structures varied for particular effects you would know how to use different types of sentences simple compound complex and you know how to use them exactly i mean you are not using them without any idea your verb forms are largely correct and appropriate uh, your tenses are are correct definitely that is the basic criteria of writing correct language that your vocabulary and, and wide and precise this is really very important that we have so many words to express ourselves that we are not repeating anything <coughs> definitely our punctuation uh, uh, is correct and it's really helpful it's not put for the sake of putting it we know exactly where to put a punctuation mark our spellings are accurate apart from occasional slip that is acceptable paragraphing uh, has your paragraphs are at unity they are linked properly i'll tell you that how this linking is done uh, and um, you they show evidences of planning so i uh, uh, i'll read a few points from uh, the band uh, six where the students will be getting 10 to 11 marks and i will see that some variety of sentences are used here so it's mean that you students don't know um if the students don't know to write in variety of sentences they don't get good marks okay um there are many errors irregular verb forms are not correct and uh, uh but control of Uh, tense is there, but verb forms are not correct. Punctuations are generally accurate, and uh, your sentences separation correctly marked. This is again a higher criteria. Okay, so I'm sure that uh, putting them side by side, 15 marks for task fulfillment, these one, and 15 marks for language. they are giving you a better clear idea how to get marks for uh, your paper so i'm sure that you'll pay attention on it, on it and accordingly you will try to improve yourself so uh, this is how you are going to plan first of all you will plan your test uh, you have, you will plan that what exactly you are going to write for the given points what difficulties in this case you are going to discuss then you are going to focus on the organization that it has to be well organized then uh, you are going to use um, smart sentence structures which which will link we call them linking devices as well however on the other hand firstly secondary moreover there are many 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 linking devices i'll be providing you with some in the um, in the next uh, coming slides 
so uh, avoid repetition show that you have ample uh, ample vocabulary and you can use every time a new one a different word and you are not repeating on your words are not ordinary so uh, in this way you can get good marks you are using some good figurative language that um, uh, you uh, have a very sensible use of uh, figure of speech like similes metaphor um, some good idioms um, some good phrasal verbs but remember that don't load them load your text with uh, these things unnecessarily they again uh, become negative on your part uh, that you uh, are not repeating things that is seen um, you your tone and register is clear it means that you know exactly to whom you are writing if it is a formal uh, report you know that you your language your style has to be formal if you are writing something informal so accordingly you change your uh, language and your tone that your punctuation and preposition must be uh, correct that we have discussed that they are really important they are helpful in making a sensible um, uh, uh, written piece of work that you are uh, giving equal weightage to all the rubrics that we have discussed that um, they should be equally expanded they should be equally amplified uh, and they should be equally um, discussed on uh another thing uh, is that that you have a proper content you are sensibly writing about each rubric each bullet point and you are giving sufficient sensible and good information on it you are having a proper ending sometimes i've noticed that students rapidly they just wrap up the ending they, they just ignore the uh, sometimes they just ignore the last rubric and just uh, rapidly they just finish it Uh, they don't try the concluding uh, paragraph few lines of conclusion they don't try sometimes they don't give a proper ending that is really very important i mean if you have written a good report then ending it in a proper way is really compulsory and please if you haven't subscribed i request that please subscribe my channel the button is in front of it uh, in, in front of you please press it and if you have liked my video so please uh, press the like button as well now we, i will talk about the transition words for an informative paragraph like when you are writing uh, a directed writing then how you should use a transition this is a good list if you just get hand on it you can have uh, like ample um, words ample linking devices to uh, link your ideas in in any any composition they will bring coherence in your writing they will bring cohesion in your writing they are really very important keep these two words in your um, mind that the, these two things come when you are using these transition words when you are going from sentence to sentence they are put under different headings like when you are adding on you can use these words beside again equally when you are comparing things likewise as with when you are contrasting though at the same time so i mean all these the linking transition words can be used according to the uh, according to your requirements and sens sensibly make a habit of putting them in your writing because without this your uh, text will not uh, have coherence and cohesion okay this is a sample um, return for the question i have just discussed in the beginning you can see that to the principal subject starting school as easy as possible for new students okay this is the starting line this report is going to deal with the problem faced by the new student and various possible solution on how to make starting at the school easier for new student this is an introduction given looking at the task that why are you exactly writing this report okay so you can begin at any suitable way uh, this report can be read by you i'll read few part of it so that i can discuss it with with you uh <clears throat> the sudden change in the environment is what makes the candidates uncomfortable they do not feel a part of the institute moreover approaching teachers and student is even more difficult so this is actually a skeleton only so looking at this you can build more information because writing the whole detail was not possible uh, so i've just uh, given uh, an outline so that Uh, it can help you looking at this you can bring your own ideas to help the new students we can
so thank you very much i am sure that you have uh, really uh, liked uh, this session of directed writing and um, uh, that uh, you have seen that how um, cambridge um, demands uh, things differently for your task fulfillment and for your language you have seen a detailed mark scheme and i am sure that that is really going to give you a good guideline when you are writing it so i again uh, request you to please subscribe my channel and press the uh, press this uh, like button and uh, the bell